Uh, so I don't know what your situation, but pray without ceasing. Pray fervently. Can you tell your neighbor, pray? Pray without ceasing, okay? Whatever kind of problem you may have, my advice is pray without ceasing. Is that okay with you guys? So pray without ceasing. You know why? When you pray without ceasing, it's going to affect your perspective. When your perspectives are changed, it affects your thinking. And then when your thinking is changed, it affects your feeling. And then when your feelings are changed, it affects your behavior. And this cycle will encourage you to pray some more. The greatest motivation to prayer is answered prayer. But the greatest obstacle to prayer is an answered prayer. If prayers are not answered, you get discouraged. So you got to change your perspective. You have to say, Lord, I do not know why you did not answer my prayer. But you pray. And then God will open your mind, adjust your perspective, adjust your thinking. And then when your thinking is aligned to God's will, it affects your feeling. You will say, Lord, not my will but thine. It's okay. It's something better. Do you believe God is good? Brother, do you believe God is almighty? Do you believe that God is in control? To pray, I must believe God is in control. I must believe that God is all wise. God knows better than I do. And I must believe that God wants what's best for me. Are we in agreement? That's called perspective. When you pray, you must believe that God is in control. When you pray, you must believe that God knows what's best. He's all wise. You don't know what's best. You can only see things in a small perspective. But God knows. And lastly, you must know that God wants what's best for us. Amen? And that is what keeps me going. I pray and pray and pray. People ask, why do you pray when God is in control? Because He commands me to pray. Why should I pray? Because God promised me peace. Why should I pray? Because there is power in prayer. 